All right, I'm on hole number three of the Easter Open Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Let's go to Golf Class Notebook and check out hole number three. It's got to be a par three, right? Yep. I've been dinking around with this hole all week, and I got the distance stuff, I think. I, I'm happy with where my distance is now, so <clears throat> we'll see if we can get a little bit closer. I'm going to use a backbone and a marlin. So, which bag do I got a backbone in? I'm going to take a marlin. Nothing special. And I don't have anything special in this account. So, I got a few balls, but not really enough to actually, you know, one is not going to get it done with any of this. So, pretty much what I've, what you got, what you can buy in the, in the storage is day to day. That's, that's pretty much all I got. We'll open up a chest here and open up a slot. I may or may not use it because I'm not shooting my shootouts. Hole number three. Backbone Marlin. We're supposed to add some on for the win. We'll see. I've been hitting this hole so poorly all week that if I I I haven't learned anything at all other than distance. It's just hard. There's no marking spot. What I should be doing is coming out here and using some side spin or something so I can find a spot and then I can start dialing it in. I, I like to find an area where I can like move my stuff to very quickly on these par threes and say, okay, hey, I'm going to wedge my white ring in so it's touching this and my blue ring in. And, and this hole doesn't, none of the par threes on this lend themselves to that. Maybe the middle one. So I got that irregular bounce. It, did, it took a hop. I swear that they've they've done some slight tweaking on several of these holes, several of these par threes, and this is one. It just seems like it doesn't quite play like it used to. I'm gonna come out here. A four one. Let's just do a just a regular adjustment and let's see if I can hit it perfect. Let's see what it does. Yeah. Can't hit it perfect if I let it go that soon. Yeah, that's pretty much where I've been. I was long, then I'm short. <laughs> I'm just dinking around on those par threes. I really have been because I'll, I'll tell you, I've been preaching to my my teammates, and I'm sure that some of them want to bop me up beside the head. But I've been preaching to them that hey, just quit going for all these shots. Just go out there and just, you know, this is a birdie hole. Don't. Go for hole in one. Just get on the green, make your putt, get your birdie, and go to the next hole. The next hole, you know, the hole number two right there, that's an eagle hole. We, I brought a big enough ball. I brought the right club. I brought the right next club. I didn't have to do any overpower, and I'm seeing tons of people on that hole do overpower. I think I'm the only one I'm seeing not do overpower. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible so that I can get my eagle and go to the next hole. I'm not. I'm. I gave myself a look at albatross, but that wasn't a serious try for albatross. And I'm not. I'm not trying to pick up a shot on every one of these. I'm not going out there and going, "Hey, everybody's getting a birdie, but I'm going to go for the eagle." I'm just getting the birdie and going to the next hole. And that if you do that, you're going to get, you know, minus 12, minus 13. That's going to give you minus 24, minus 26. Minus 24, minus 26, you're going to be in the top 20. Okay, you go out there and you start going for all these holes and you start doing all that stuff. And, you know, you're going to end up not in the top 20. That it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to, to be in the top 20. What it takes is, is just to go out there and play consistent. 
and stay in the fairway and get on the green and make your putt and go to the next hole. Don't worry about the fact that you didn't you didn't pick up, you know, I didn't pick up a hole in one right there. Oh, I missed the hole in one. I didn't even give myself a good shot. Who cares? I got a birdie. Go to the next hole. Okay? And you will be surprised at how much you will move up the ranks. Now, if you're if you're already a top 20, top 15 player where, you know, every week you're in the top 20, top 15, top 10, top 5, then you know that you got to you got to play that exactly what I'm saying here. You got to play that perfectly clean round. And then you have to you have to pick some ponies out here that you're going to have to go for to try and pick up that 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 one shot that's going to separate you from from the crowd that's going to get you into the into the top three or into the top slot but when you're first playing and you're trying to work your way up don't try and get to the top spot from where you're at just play consistent you start getting some top 15, top 10 finishes, you're going to get excited about these tournaments. Right? And so just play consistent. Don't worry about getting the hole in one. Just get on the green and go. If you've got that hole figured out, then, you know, figure it out. But I'm really, I really am this, this whole week. I'm just, not, I'm just not that concerned with it. I think if I shoot the 26 um, and I give myself, there are a couple holes on here that I am really going for it. And if I can work it out on those holes, then I'll be good. All right, that was hole number three of the Easter Open Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.